Yo, a couple J's in the dame, something from Reebok. Adidas is going crazy, young tree, stay hot. New balance is on the block, making sure you stay fresh. Great school, we got you covered. This is the heat check. What up, folks? I am your host, Jacques Slade. Welcome to the Heat Check, and we have a very full show for you today. Let's kick things off with what dropped yesterday. First up is Adidas with a Pure Boost now. These have been doing really well, and they're priced at only $140, and yesterday they dropped in three pairs of the shoe. It will be a gray pair, a black pair, and a night navy pair. From the looks of all these, they have that same knitted upper, which is very nice based on the personal pair that I have. You can grab those right now for $140 over at Finish Line. Next up from Jordan is the Jordan Son of Mars. These are coming in an armory navy colorway that looks pretty Pretty clean, although it looks really balanced with that yellow and that electric lime, as they call it. Those will cost you 160, and you can grab those at finish line as well. On the Nike Sportswear side of things, we have the Nike Air Max Thea Ultra Flyman in the multicolor colorway. As you can imagine, this is the women's only release, though that colorway is super dope. You can grab those starting at 150 as they dropped on yesterday as well. Also dropping yesterday is the Adidas Ultra Boost Uncaged. Now this came in the dark gray colorway and these are pretty much selling out as of right now. There were only a couple sizes left when I started making this video. So if you do want a pair, you better act on it pretty quickly. Those will cost you 200 bucks. Jumping to today, we have something brand new from Reebok. The shoe is officially called the Reebok Classic Zoku Runner. The model is inspired by some of Reebok's older shoes from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. And you can kind of see that in the shape and the profile of the shoe. Reebok is also using a new kind of textile on the upper called Ultra Knit which looks pretty clean and pretty soft. Good thing about these is that they're only priced at $115 and they're available right now. One of the largest releases of this weekend is the Nike Air Max 90 Ultra 2.0 Flyknit, long shoe name. As many of you already know, March is basically Air Max month for Nike and this is how they're kicking it off with the retro style with this switched up Flyknit upper. Pricing for those is 160 for both men and women and there are a ton of colorways. There's a, the original infrared, there's a pink pair for women, just a bunch of colorways. Again, those are 160 and they're available right now over at Finish Line. For Friday, looks like we only have one big shoe dropping, which is a little weird, and that shoe is the Adidas Dame 3 in the black, red, and white colorway. The Dame 3 is a pretty good shoe to ball in, so if you're looking for something and you're on a budget, the Dame 3 should be right up your alley. Those will cost you 115. Now when it comes to Saturday, Adidas has the crazy explosive low lined up. These, from what I have heard, feel just as good as the mid and should be a great pickup if you play ball. Look to grab those for 120. One of the newest shoes to drop this weekend is the Nike PG1, AKA the Bait. These are Paul George's newest signature shoe and it's gonna cost you 110, which is a great price for a basketball shoe. For those of you that rock grade school sizes, the Air Jordan is dropping the Hyper Jade version of the Jordan 6. Those look clean with that white upper as well and those will cost you 140. Next up from Jordan is the Jordan 15 and Obsidian. Now this is one of the more controversial Jordan signature shoe shapes, uh, but that Obsidian colorway seems pretty nice. Those will cost you 190. And then we have the New Balance 247. This shoe is going to drop in four colors and with the latest releases you can really see how new balance is approaching the lifestyle market i'm not mad at it at all those will cost you 80 dollars you can grab those over at finish line as with every week, there may be a few other things that are dropping, but I just wanted to give you guys the quick highlights for the stuff that I thought you would be paying attention to. As always, I am Jacques Slade. This is the Heat Check presented by Finish Line, and I appreciate you. Make sure you turn on your notifications so you can see what's popping right here on this channel. All right, guys, I'll see you soon. Peace. Now, when it comes to Saturday, Adidas has some has the blah blah blah. blah.